Now in today's lecture, I'm going to solve a question from integration. The question is, we have to find the ratio of two integrals. The first integral is integration from 0 to 1, x is to power 1004, multiplied by 1 minus x, whole is to power 1004, and divide by the integral with the same limits. Now inside value is x is to power 1004, multiplied by 1 minus x is to power 2010 here, and the same power. So let's say the ratio is i1 upon i2 is equal to this much and i1 is numerator, i2 is denominator here. Now what we have to do is and what examiner wants from us is not to calculate the individual values because individual values may take time here to calculate because I don't see function and derivative directly here. And same with the denominator. So what we need to do in and what examiner wants from you is you have to convert i1 in the terms of i2 or i2 in the terms of i1. So it's, I think it's easy to convert I2 in the terms of I1 here. So I'm going to convert I2 in the terms of I1. Why I'm doing this? Because suppose if I re represent I2 in terms of lambda times of I1, we, even without calculating these two, I can represent. So if I do it, immediately I'll get the ratio I2 upon I1 that will be equal to lambda. So I'll try to do something like this rather than calculating the individual values, which can take some time here. Okay, so let's start with I2 only. So I2 is integration 0 to 1 x is to power 1004 multiplied by 1 minus x is to power 2010 here and then 1004 d of x here. Now the first thing comes into my mind is first I need to decrease the power because in order to make I2 as I1 the inside power is 1 minus x only and here inside is 1 minus x is to power 2010 here. Now one more thing I can see is if I see the derivative here outside then it will be very easy to convert. So I think I can take here x is to power 1005 as y let's say because why I'm taking this as y because the derivative is written outside as you can see this into d of x will be the derivative here because if I differentiate I'll get x is to power 1004 d of x is equal to dy divided by 1005 here. So i2 will be equal to 1 upon 1005 and then integration now the limits will change. I don't think the limit will change because if you put 0, you'll get 0 and if you put 1, you'll get 1. So the limits intact as it is and then we'll get this as 1 minus. Uh, if x is to power 1005 is y, then there is y square. I think d by here, we'll get this. Now uh, let me remove this. So I don't need this right now. Let's do the partition here so that I can use the space. So i2 will be equal to 1000 5 here. Now again I need to decrease the degree here. Why is it? Because we want 1 minus x. We want 1 minus linear here. Now in order to do that I'm going to apply here kings. So replacing y by upper limit plus lower limit minus y here. So if I do it, if I replace y with 1 minus y, the limits will remain intact and the value of the integration will not change if I replace this. So we'll get this as 1 minus 1 minus y whole square here and whole raised to power, sorry I forgot to write here, 1004 here and dy. So i2 will be from here, i2 will be equal to 1 upon 1005 and we'll get integration 0 to 1 as it is and I think here 1 and 1 will cancel out, we'll get this as 2y and minus y square here and whole raised to power 1004 here and dy. Now i2 will be equal to 1 upon 1005 now integration we have 0 to 1. Now I want in order to calculate 1 in convert this into 1 minus linear I'm going to take y common. So if I take y common I'll get y raised to power 1004 here and we'll get 2 minus y whole raised to power 1004 and dy. Now this is a very clever observation. I want 1 minus linear here as I told you. My only focus is this term only because rest of the term will adjust here. So we want 1 minus linear and here it is 2 minus linear. Now in order to convert this into 1 minus linear, I have to make this y as a multiple of 2. So let's say y is equal to for a moment y is equal to 2t here. Because if I put y is equal to 2t here, I think I can take 2 common and the moment I take 2 common, it will be 1 minus linear automatically. So let me erase the other part. So now let's substitute dy is equal to 2 times dt here and substitute y is equal to 2t in the given integral. So we'll get i2 as now 2 will come outside and 2 by we'll get 1005 here. Now integration now limits will change here 0 to half. We'll get this as 2t is to power 
1004 multiplied by 2 minus 2t raised to power 1004 and dt here. Now, as I told you, I'm only my focus is here is 1 minus linear. The moment I get, if I take 2 outside, I think I will get 1 minus linear here. And from this, I think I can take 2 raised to power 1004. And from the first term, I can take 2 raised to power 1004 common. So I'm going to write I2 as 2 into 2 raised to power. In total, I'm taking 2 raised to power 2008 common here. And divide by 1005. Integral 0 to half will get T raised to power. We'll get 1004 multiplied by. Uh, this is 1 minus T raised to power 1004. T. Now here, I think t is a dummy variable I can replace with the x here. So we'll get i2 as 2 raised to power 2009 here. Whole divide by 1005. I can write this as integration 0 to half. We can write this as x times this to power 1004 and 1 minus x is to power 1004 t of x. If I change t, t with x, I don't think the value of the integral will change here. Now, as you can see, I have converted this successfully in the terms of I1 because in I1 you have x raised to power 1004 and 1 minus x raised to power 1004. So as you can see, these two terms are matching. Now the one problem is with I1, the limit is 0 to 1 here. So your question is, sir, here we got 0 to half limit. Now how are we going to convert this? So check I1. I1 if I replace, in I1 if I replace x by 1 minus x. I think the value of the integral remains same because it's a symmetric term as you can see here. X, if I replace this with 1 minus x, I'll get this as 1 minus x raised to power 1004. And the next term will be, I think, x raised to power 1004 here. So I think integral value will be same. I can apply queens here. So I1, I can write this as 2 times integration. The limit will cut into half. And we'll get this as x raised to power 1004 multiplied by 1 minus x raised to power 1004 here. Now, why I'm doing this? Because I want to compare these two, I2 and I1. I want to write I2 in the terms of I1. That's why I've written like this. So let me erase this part. Now I'm going to write I2 in the terms of I1. That is I2 will be equal to 2 raised to power 2009 here, divided by 1005, multiplied by. Now this term is equal to I1 upon 2 here. So I2 upon I1, that is our whole objective, will be equal to 2 raised to power 2008 here, Divide by 1005. This will be our final answer. As you can see, I got the ratio here without even calculating the value, individual value, I1 and I2. And that will be all.